when we all put our heads together, we put our disciplines together, that is the way to tackle the issues that are coming down the pipeline. There's never a dull moment. There's always um, a new scientific discovery to anticipate what some of the policy implications of that science might be. We need to do this work to help people, uh, and yet there need to be um, constraints, safeguards, you know, guardrails to keep us you know, within what society wants us to do. So these questions are gonna become more and more relevant, so I think this kind of work is gonna become more and more exciting. The center allows me to focus on issues centering my own lived experiences, as well as current events that are relevant to society, um, especially around health disparities and health inequity. Bioethics is the study of ethical, legal, and social issues related to medicine and biomedical research. We need to be able to articulate what underlying values are at stake when we're making decisions in medical practice, the institutional level, and at the societal level. I'm Amy McGuire. I am the Leon Jaworski Professor of Biomedical Ethics and the Director of the Center for Medical Ethics and Health Policy at Baylor College of Medicine. Baruch started the center in 1982, which was really future thinking at the time. He laid a very solid foundation around a philosophy of collaboration, teaching, and clinical consultation. His driving force was to partner with other faculty and students at Baylor College of Medicine and help them to think through questions that they were facing in their everyday practice. So the center is a, a great place. I specifically asked three things that the center could accomplish. The first was assess the healthcare standards in our community, in the nation and worldwide. Secondly, it was to comment on legislation that is introduced around healthcare and how it impacts the delivery of care to patients locally and nationally. And then finally, to develop policies to improve healthcare in the country and in our region. The center has done a great job of doing all three of those. Our Texas Medical Center is probably one of the largest, most important medical centers in the United States. It's the world's largest with more than 100,000 employees and 60 institutions generating new programs in healthcare, healthcare delivery, and, and also new inventions. So for me, it's been a real honor and privilege to work with someone like Amy to help me channel all of that enthusiasm and passion into sound health policies. The center has three pillars, research, ethics, consultation, and education. We do cutting edge research on some of the most pressing ethical issues facing medicine and society today. We also make sure that we educate people about those issues. We educate medical students, residents, practicing clinicians, and we also do ethics consultation. So we are called to the bedside when there are very ethically challenging issues that clinicians need our help thinking through. My background mostly was medicine and that's mostly what I was exposed to. But in the center, physicians, lawyers, philosophers, they're all involved in the process. Medical ethics has made me a better physician. I think it helps with uh, clinical reasoning. It helps with managing challenging communication. Um, and it overall, um, I think, enhances our ability to provide um, good, strong patient care. Our fellowship program, we are constantly refining, hearing the feedback of our fellows and trying to figure out how we meet their goals and also feel very confident in their ability to be fantastic ethicists, great collaborative and independent researchers, and stellar teachers. Our goal in the center is really to try to get ahead of the game, anticipate what the future of medicine might look like, what the major advancements are gonna be, and then think about what are the implications of that on individuals, on institutions, on society. What the center collaborations allowed us to do is to be much more rational and effective in being able to share genetic data in a productive way without violating the privacy requirements that everybody should expect to have. The future of bioethics is going to see a lot of cutting edge questions around new technologies, neurointerventions, artificial intelligence. We are seeing these issues crop up at a really rapid pace and we need to be thinking proactively about their ethical dimensions. But we also need to not lose sight of some of the foundational issues that don't change. For example, 
how can we support patients in their decision making and make sure that they're making a decision that's best in line with their values and goals? How do we think about how to fairly allocate medical resources such as organs? These are issues that bioethicists have been thinking about for years and we need to make sure that we continue to think really critically about these issues. Baylor College of Medicine has a very entrepreneurial spirit. We're really able within the Center for Medical Ethics and Health Policy to take risks, engage in topics and issues that we feel like are most important and be forward thinking in a way that I don't think you can do at a lot of other institutions. One of the most common reasons medical students come to see me is because their commitment to public service is at an all time high. And, and even if they want to become a surgeon or a pediatrician or an internist, so many of them want to make a big picture impact. And the most direct way to do that is to get involved in health policy and medical ethics. 